So to start off with, let's find the derivative. Again, there's, I noticed that the original function is a quotient. So I'm going to go to my quotient rule, keep the bottom the same, derivative of the top, keep the top the same, derivative of the bottom. all over the bottom one squared. Again, as far as the highlighter goes, here's the bottom, there's the bottom. Just to help you see what's happening. So now what we need to do is we need to rearrange this. And one thing that I notice already is the bottom of my function is good. I've already got what I'm looking for. on the bottom. So this question is really asking me, can I manipulate the top so that it looks like that? Now my final answer up here on the top, everything has been expanded. It's not in factored form. So that sort of gives me a hint. Maybe I should expand everything with what I have right now. So if I multiply the first two together, I'm going to get 2x squared plus x minus 6. And if I, well, the, the second one, when you multiply by 1, would just stay the same. If you're going to make a mistake in this one, it's probably because of the subtract sign. That subtract sign there, that means all of this is getting subtracted. So you're going to subtract x squared. You're going to add 3x, and you're going to subtract 1. Most common mistake at this point in algebra is you just subtract the x squared, and then you keep the 3x negative, and you keep the 1 positive. That's the most common mistake. If you know that subtracting this whole thing means all of those get subtracted, then we'd have 2x squared minus x squared will be x squared. x plus 3x give us plus 4x, and negative 6 minus 1 give us negative 7. And you've shown what you wanted to show. Finally, undefined means not possible. In math, there's a number of things that are not allowed. Uh, some of the first things that you learned that were not allowed were taking the square root of a negative dividing by 0. Since then, you've learned some more. You've learned that you can't take a logarithm of a negative number. You can't take the inverse sign of numbers bigger than 1. There's been a number of additional things that you've learned along the way that are not allowed in math based on the domains and ranges of functions. But right here, the only thing that we're dealing with is dividing. And the bottom would be 0. That would happen when x is negative 2. It's undefined when x is equal to negative 2, so x can't equal negative 2. So I'll give you some time to practice these. And then. We'll see how you're doing in about 15, 20 minutes, and we might start the next part, or we might keep working.